How about that? Ball one to Kyle Farmer, who was 0 for 3 last night, struck out a couple of times, but got hit by pitch to drive in a run in the ninth inning. Now Farmer's numbers have dipped a bit. He's three for his last 26, nine strikeouts. Big chunk of that coming after he was hit on the hand with a Spencer Strider 100 mile per hour fastball. One one fouled away. You know, John, I, I don't know that you always know exactly from from player to player when you get hit like that with that type of velocity, depending on where it is, but especially when it's in your hands, every player reacts to that different. Some guys really try to jump on the ball when they come back. Some guys are a little bit hesitant, but it does make an effect. Oh, well hit deep left field. Gallo spun around and Kyle Farmer's gone deep. I guess his hand's feeling all right, huh? He launches into the bleachers and left, and the Reds are staked to a two-run lead on Farmer's sixth home run of the year. I can hear it now. You know, son, back in my days with the Reds, I homered at Yankee Stadium. <laughs> He's going to have so many stories for McCoy, who already has his bedroom full of souvenirs, lineup cards. Mike Moustakis swings at strike one. Well, I can tell you, somebody that's standing at home is Granny. You can book that. And there were many Granny references on the latest edition of the Jim Day podcast, and there's also. A very surprise cameo pitch away to Moustakis, who doubled one for three with a couple of strikeouts last night. There was an all star former Red who called Farmer during the podcast, and Moustakis sends one to deep right field, and that is gone. Back to back homers for the Reds, and a 3 0 lead as they have ambushed Luis Severino. There are times when you begin to win late in ball games, as the Reds have four out of their last five games. You start to get a feeling of invincibility. That was a changeup from Severino. Not a bad looking pitch, but Moustakas was all over it. First pitch, Stewart Fairchild high in the air, left field. Gallo fading back. He's at the wall. He oh leaps. My. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Back to back to back home runs and a 4 nothing Reds advantage. Back to back to welcome back Stewart Fairchild. How about that? Stuart Fairchild launches his first major league home run to cap off a trio of successive crushed homers. And now Severino's getting a visit. As the Reds have run roughshod in the Bronx. High fastball. Kid was all over it. That ball just kept carrying. He got some tremendous backspin on that ball. You could see the left fielder Gallo going back, thinking he had a play, and then he just ran out of room. I think the boys are pretty happy. Oh, yeah. I mean, these home run hitters don't have time to get their batting gloves or helmet off, and the next guy's going deep. <laughs> 